Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, September 7th. What's going on today? if you don't know, is Apple Keynote Day or Apple iPhone Announcement Day because we pretty much know everything there is to know about the phone or at least rumored to know about the phone. So today is the day that Apple introduces the next generation iPhone. We get to learn all the features, all the specs for the most part, specs that they're proud of, specs that they're not proud of, you don't hear about. And we're left to wonder yet again. But Apple's usually pretty good these days on the turnaround time between the announcement, the pre-order, and the shipment of the phones. So we'll probably get these in our hands in the next couple weeks. What I'm excited to hear about are the things that aren't rumored, which is few and far between these days, as opposed to being completely shocked. <laughs> I'm interested to see if the camera's any better. I'm interested to see how waterproof it is, because I really, surprisingly, like the feature of my Note 7 of it being waterproof, as evidence of my last few videos. I'm also interested to see if they have any different colors. I don't know why, because I usually end up putting a case on it anyway, but to each his own. I just like the way that they look out of the box. So, one o'clock Eastern time, 10 o'clock Pacific, we find out if all the rumors were true, which they're usually pretty darn close. LG also introduced the V20 last night at their keynote at IFA, I think it is. And that thing looks pretty cool. I hope I can get my hands on that. LG has sent me the last couple phones, which weren't the best phones, but I didn't say they weren't horrible. So the difference between the V10 and the V20 is they went a little less robust but went with like an all metal design. So it'll be interesting to see when I get my hands on it, hopefully if I get my hands on it, how it is. We're doing it in a brand new game, Super Mario Run. Super Mario? On the App Store. What's the magic of Mario is that anyone can pick up a game and instantly start playing. Okay. I wasn't able to watch the keynote today because work was just too busy and I wasn't able to get a uh, lunch at one. So it is what it is. But I did catch a little bit of what's going on and the phone and all that good stuff. But I haven't really had a chance to really sit down and watch it. So I'm doing that now and I'll give you my thoughts. I think I'm gonna switch this camera up I work like over here. Sweet a productivity and that way maybe the sun will be on me. I just don't feel like I'm bright enough. Business and consumers. I don't care about iWork. Teach so many great apps, but there's one special one that I'm excited to tell you about today. Pokemon Go is coming to the watch. Whatever. You know, I never got the Apple Watch. Um, it's just something I just didn't want to drop the money on, and I just didn't really feel it was something that I'd use. I tried other smart watches, Android watches, and I just, it was just never my thing. However, the one thing that I really like with the Apple Watch, and I think this is something that all smart watches should get to eventually, I love the capabilities of being able to have your health stats connect with your doctor. That ability to be able to monitor if you have, you know, diabetes or a heart condition, I mean, whatever it is, something that could potentially be life-threatening can be monitored 24-7 by your doctor and send reports that if something changes in your body, it's that much faster that they have the ability to say, okay, this is what happened while you were doing this, or what were you doing at this point, to be able to know, and hopefully make people's lives a little bit better. I don't know if it's gonna cure anything, but it's certainly going to be able to help get to things maybe a little bit faster, and be able for doctors to understand when we say, oh, I didn't feel well at this point, they might be able to diagnose it a lot better. I don't know, I just, that's what I like the Apple Watch for, and any watch for that matter that has the ability to have that functionality do that. Look at Mommy's windshield. What's wrong with Mommy's windshield? Whoa! Hey, 
Mommy's car needs to be cleaned. So where are we going? Uh, gymnastics! Whoa. Get your nose out of the camera, goofball. All right, let's get in. Wrong way. <laughs> Mommy has two doors. <laughs> Mommy, has, Mommy has four doors. Four. Yeah. You'll never see me with a two-door car. Oh yeah! Alright. You're never gonna see me like this. In your seat. Well, Arms in. We have an end of the day of splash bang. Minnie Mouse! I want, I want mine. I want mine. back. Mine, I'm right here. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, dang it. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Are those all your are those all your your uh angry words? Mm -hmm. To be any closer? Well, the kids' class is not out where you can see it. So, I'm gonna go home, get some stuff done, come back and get them in a little bit. What we're hap what's happening today with iPhone 7 and 7 Plus blows that all away. Because we have a new generation chip in the iPhone 7, and it's called A10 Fusion. We wanna give you one example of a game running live on the A10 Fusion to show you what it's capable of. So I'm very excited to bring up Heather Price, co-founder of this game studio. Heather? And next. And here's another way to think about battery life. If you're upgrading from an iPhone 6S to an iPhone 7, on average, you can expect to get about two more hours into your day on your battery life. And that's a meaningful difference. That's on average, some customers many more than that. Some many, many less. An iPhone 6S Plus, which already had great battery life. You find an iPhone 7 Plus delivers at least an hour more of battery life on average, and for some customers, again, much more than that. So real and some, battery life improvement. A lot less. Feel throughout every single day. Just saying. So. All right. So, the keynote. I'm not going to spend much time on it because you've probably seen a whole lot on it. The camera looks cool. That. Black just looks absolutely awesome, but I've already seen the Debbie Downers talking about it scratching, fingerprint magnet, blah, 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 blah. They got a matte version, or what looks to be a matte version. Probably just better to get that if you're just going to be a bitch about it. Uh, the screen's still a 1080p screen on the uh, 5.7 and the 5.1. Um, I'm sorry, the 4.7 is um, this one that it was before. They're saying it's more colorful, blah, 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 blah. I like the waterproof and the dust resistant. Very, very cool. The new home button looks interesting. And then everything else. The stereo speakers. I shouldn't say everything else. The stereo speakers are also something that I'm interested to see what that sounds like. Um, and of course, you know, the battery life is the battery life. I, I'm sure I'm not going to get what they say that they get. Um, they have down here that they uh, LTE advanced up to 450 uh, megabytes per second. Okay. Um, and really, it just as far as the overall feeling of it, yeah, okay, it looks cool. You know, I'm interested, definitely interested to see what it is. I'm going to get it, of course. I'm going to get the, the, the 7 Plus, and I'm probably just going to get that matte black after talking to everybody about the shiny black. But, hey, don't get me wrong. It looks cool. My Note 7 looks cool. I have it in a case. So, if I'm going to get this, I'm going to put it in a case. So, what's the difference? Probably nothing. So that's the Apple event. It wasn't horrible, uh, you know, it wasn't It wasn't bad, and, uh, you know, it wasn't mind-blowing, you know. Uh, there was a few things on there that were pretty cool with the camera going into in-depth, which you never really truly get with rumors uh, when it comes to that stuff. It's just the general idea and designs that we technically see. And we get products, you know, uh, the, the some of the internal stuff, stereo speakers, losing the headphone jack. Oh, the headphone jack. 
I, I don't care. You know, whatever. If it sounds better through lightning, let's go for it. I'll do it. If I can get some wireless headphones that work well, go for it. Those uh, ear pods or AirPods, if you know what I'm talking about. That about does it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and of course, until the next one. See ya!